Now, firstly, I would like to mention what the effect of prayer is. The effect of prayer is that it opens up pathways in your soul. If you could think of your soul as a body for a moment. So, so you know how we've talked about you having a physical body and you have a spirit body and you have a soul? If you could think of your soul as another body, so like you have got a spirit body, a physical body, a spirit body, and a soul body, let's call it. All right? And if you can just picture that for a moment, that there's this third body that we haven't talked about as the soul being that body. In the spirit body, you know, that energy flows through it, doesn't it? And that's where you have your chakras. You've all heard of the term chakras, where you have energy meridians passing through your body. And these energy points are where energy flows through you. So you can think of emotions as energy in motion. So there's these feelings, if you like, that pass through you in your spirit form. Well, there's also feelings that pass through you. They all come, all these feelings come from your soul and they pass through your soul. And if you can think of your soul as this great ball of energy through which emotion and all energy in the soul is emotion, if you can think of all of this emotion flowing constantly in the soul, you can picture it in your mind like one of those is it Van de Graaff balls, you know, where, they, where there's all this electrical energy flying off a ball. And that's your soul, that, that powerhouse of emotion, if you like, which is actually energy flowing out to the universe. When you begin to pray, there's a part of that soul that actually begins to open up. So this is where, when we're talking about true prayer that it actually opens up a portion of your soul. It, there's a physical part of your soul that begins to open up. And it's the part that opens up that's allowing you to receive. Allowing you to receive things from, in this particular case, from God, but from also all parts of God's universe. Prayer is the key, if you like, to opening up this part of your soul. So you know how most of the time when we think of prayer, you think of some religious sort of connotation of what prayer is. What I'm talking about actually is this part, this actual feeling or attitude in you, which is called prayer, that actually opens up a part of your soul so that you can now receive things that you couldn't before receive. Now, if it's a prayer for divine love, it will open up a part of your soul where you can start feeling and receiving divine love. But if it's a prayer for other things, you'll open up a part of your soul in each case that allows you to receive. The biggest issue that we have with our connection with God is we're constantly denying a connection with God. We're constantly pushing God away. We're constantly not receiving. That's now the default state of the human race, if you like. Does that make sense? Sorry? How are we constantly denying it? We'll talk about that in a minute, of how we're pushing God away rather than accepting. But one of the main ways is by not understanding prayer. You see, most of the time, if we talk about a religious connotation of prayer, most of the time it's thought of as a series of words that I read out, isn't it? So, our Father in Heaven might be one of those series of words. If we're another religion, there'll be another series of words that we read out, which is a prayer to God. But whatever the prayer is, a lot of times the way we view it is it's all coming from our intellect, really. How many times is our emotion involved in that process? So if you can remember what it was like when, say, some of you who went to church, how many times did your emotion get touched when you said the prayer? Compared to how many times you said the prayer without emotion. You, can you see how most of the time it's just the word coming out of our mouth or even a thought coming out of our brain, but in fact the soul is not touched. Can you see that? And if the soul isn't touched, then it's not a prayer. And that's the thing we need to understand. God is not hearing things from our mind. God is hearing things from our soul. Totally different place. Totally different space.